Is it me? Is it me? Is it your favorite song, a girl? Is it her? Yes, it is. <laughs> Welcome back to Chat with Tessa, everyone. It's your favorite, favorite song, a girl. I'm Shen. I'm Shen. Oh, I mustn't burn myself. I'm going to easy. I'm Shen, guys. I'm Shen. I'm Shen. I'm Shen. Number one, subscribe. Number two, hit the like. Number three, comment. Number four, share it. Quick disclaimer. Views and opinions expressed on this channel are not and should not be considered as financial advice. I am not a certified financial advisor and not registered with the FSCA. Now that that's out the way, I will say that with me, I honestly wish at the time when I was working as a call center agent at Web Help. Yeah, that was the company. Maybe some of you have worked there. Hey! Yo, taking many calls a day. Yo, like I remember like 60 calls a day. Mm, for that salary, for that salary. I, I was working as a call center agent and I was like, ha, huh, my salary could have qualified me for this flip program. Why wasn't I thinking about property then? I could have owned my first property even on that salary. Ah, 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 me, I was busy opening accounts left, right and center. Because it was a uh, conversation for another day. Then when I got the job working at EF teaching online, my salary was definitely way better than what I was getting at Web Help. Now I was like, yo, I'm under seven Zep Prime Steen. Yo, sen sen hola malio bonakala. Hey! But at least I used that money to pay off my debt. But I, I still qualified, I still fell within the bracket to qualify for this program. Why wasn't I thinking about property? You know what I was thinking about? A car. Because everybody that I was working with and working around, they were buying cars, bruh. Picantos were being bought left, right, and center. And I was like, oh, no, I don't want to take taxis to Bryanston. I also want to drive a car. So let me save towards a car. I mean, the money that I had saved would have definitely helped me to buy that first property. Let's have a quick look at the requirements and what qualifies you. Let's look. While doing research online about banks that might have information on FLISP, I found this lovely net bank brochure that um, shows all the requirements and also had this lovely offer here where they said that they, um, on top of obtaining a FLISP sub subsidy, uh, net bank offers the following. If you earn a monthly gross income of 25,000 or less, which is 5,000 cash back paid into your net bank transactional account, um, a 50% discount on the Eternian bond registration fees and a 100% home loan. This is awesome. And also this table that shows you more or less what you might qualify for on the FLISP subsidy based on what you earn. And I will leave the link for this brochure in the description box as well. Another bank's website that I visited that had information on FLISP is ABSA. It seems that they also do help in some way with regards to uh, applying for FLISP. And I will also leave this link in the description box and maybe one can also try and apply through APSA and the other bank was NetBank. I'm not sure if other banks have information, but I tried to look and I didn't find it. Here is another website that I'm going to link in the description box that can help you to apply for your FLISP subsidy and you can either register here or here depending on whether you still need a home loan or you already have an approved home loan already and it will take you through a series of questions and you provide your contact details etc on flisp.co.za here's another website the consumer mortgage management website and they can help with the uh, flisp um, application and they also have some useful videos that you can watch um, you can simply click on contact and you can contact them about your flisp application there are numbers and email addresses 
um, or you can submit a message on their website directly. And I think that the services that they offer um, come with a fee. But yeah, you can contact them for that. The Western Cape government website was very helpful and also had quite a number of resources uh, that can help one to apply for FLISP. Um, also looking at the application form, um, it shows or, or rather gives you an idea of what to expect to fill out when you are applying for FLISP and it can give you an idea of like what documentation you need to have ready and um, anything that you might need to prepare uh, when you go and apply and I'll also link that in the description box so that you have this example of an application form from the Western Cape uh, government website. Maybe it's different for each um, province and municipality, but I think the application form will definitely be somewhat similar. On the KwaZulu-Natal province uh, government website, there was also information on FLISP and also contact details that were included uh, for people to find out on um, how to apply for FLISP. On the Property24 website, I found this very interesting article that spoke about the FLISP first-time homeowners uh, losing out on this great subsidy and um, why, like just a few cases about why somebody lost out and why they were denied the subsidy and um, how this particular individual was able to help um, one of the cases and there's also a contact um, included here and in this article as well there are links to uh, videos and podcasts uh, by Property24 to shed more light on the subsidy and I'll also include that link in the description box below. And as a closing comment, I will say that guys, use this as an opportunity to get financial assistance from the government to purchase that first property. I missed out on that opportunity because number one, I didn't have the knowledge, I didn't have the guidance, I didn't have the information. Hey, of this world. Okay. Now, you who now has this information, share it with the people around you. And and please, sharing it doesn't mean that you will not qualify or it takes away your opportunity. Uh-uh. Share it, guys. Share the information. And I'll say rather start early like everything in government and like everything in the world there is a budget and if the budget runs out then so would you not want to be that person that went in quick quick and acted quickly not now want to apply in october november december uh -uh. apply now apply early get all the documents that you need to get um prepared prepared right and then get the application rolling and going we, we we are people who act we're people who are not negative so do not dwell on negativity about government um departments and how slow they can be and hit it hit it hit it hit it hit it free money ah misham i would have i would have been patient i would have done my research i would have asked where i needed to ask and then get that first property knowing that the government helped me buy that first property. All right, guys, I hope that this was informative. I hope that you will be sharing it with your community, people you work with, people who are your friends. You talk to them every day. You come across them. That is your community. Share it, okay? And I hope that this will also push you to go and try and apply. All right. Anyway, that's it for me today. Thank you, Nikensa, everyone. See you on the next one.